Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this recording, I'm going to talk about, again, one of the ways for us to learn the Korean language or any language on our own. And actually, this uh, thought of doing this recording has been inspired by my nephew because one day I caught him talking to their pet bird. I found it really cute and sincere and very clever in a way so the scenario was he was told off by his parents that he should be in the house already because it was time for him to be home but then he he felt upset and disappointed because he was enjoying his time outside with his friends playing and it was the only time for a very long time that he wasn't able to play and that was the only time that he had the chance so he felt so upset that he wasn't able to say to anyone how he felt but then I caught him talking to their bird I forgot exactly what he said in the beginning but then the final words that made me laugh inside was he said right bird and he just mentioned bird as the name of the bird itself and it was really funny in a way. I couldn't forget, even until now, that's why I made this recording. And so, they have a pet dog as well, and I love their pet dog, like my own pet. Most of the time I spend a lot of time with their dog, because it's so small and it's so cute. It's always calm. I like being with him, and most of the time I talk to their dog, like how my nephew talks to their pet bird. 자는 시간이다. 응? 젤로이. 좀 이따가 먹어야지. 내 시간 뒤에 밥 줄게요. 듣고 있나요? 들었어? 못 들은 척 하지 마. 냠냠냠냠냠. 귀여워. In relation to language learning, I think whether we have someone to talk with or not in a different language or in a language which is not our mother tongue, I think one of the best ways for us to learn a language on our own is to talk with animals, to talk to animals. Because I think it is very unique and it's very sincere and it is also very effective to improve in language learning. There are many reasons why we should think this way because most of the time when we learn a language we have a lot of inhibitions that we care too much about our mistakes about how we are going to be understood by other people who speak a language that we are learning when we actually talk to animals we don't really care about what and how we say to the animals as long as it is with tender loving care. For me, when I talk to pet dogs, to our pets, I have a tendency to become like a child or to, to sound like a baby who is talking to another baby. In language learning, this is one of the theories wherein we become a baby when we are learning a language and so when we become a baby then we don't really think of grammar rules or difficult words that we should use or proper coherence of our sentences it doesn't really matter but then all we have to do is just talk and just speak our mind and that's it so we don't really care whether we made mistakes and we don't really care whether other people think that we made mistakes while we are talking in a different language. This language learning is also very well connected to talking to animals. When we also talk to animals, it is very impulsive and it is truly one of our instincts wherein we just talk naturally to animals. Impulsively just talking or speaking our mind is a very effective way to learn. So when I talk to our pet dogs, I just talk to our pet dog like he is 
my child or he is my friend or he is a baby to me and so my voice changes also one of the most interesting thing is that I normally talk to our pets in a different language it's I'm not normally using um, Filipino language or my mother tongue I use English or Korean to our pet dogs that is not by choice it is actually just very naturally it just comes out like it is my mother tongue when I talk to them sometimes I sing to them as well and also in a different language <laughs> These things or these behaviors that I do, I feel that I am supposed to do it because it feels natural. When you find yourself talking to an animal, to any animal, whether it's a pet or not, I think you don't have to feel stupid in some ways, but grab the opportunity. Uh, think that it is also going to be one of the best ways for you to learn the Korean language or any language. And if you don't have a dog or a bird or any animal near your place, if you don't have a pet, you can actually buy a toy, a stuffed toy. Try to talk with that uh, stuffed toy like a pet or like a human being. For me, I couldn't really talk to something which is not living, which doesn't have any response, which doesn't move. I still like to talk to animals than a stuffed toy. And also you can practice talking to yourself. Sometimes I do that, like when, when I feel upset, I talk to myself or I pretend that I'm talking to someone when I talk to myself. That is also one of the ways to to talk if you have no one to talk to or to talk with. Anyway, regarding the topic about talking to pets or to animals, there is also a study mentioned that doing that is a sign of intelligence. This is good news for us, right? <laughs> okay, so that's it for today. And I hope you have learned something from this video and start practicing talking to your pets if you have one. If not, you can try stuffed toys or talking to yourself. So that's it for today. Thank you for listening to my video again. Have a good day.